The world's biggest, most powerful rocket explodes minutes after liftoff on its maiden voyage. The rocket with no crew on board blasted off from Texas. Despite the explosion, SpaceX still says it was a success. Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly. We'll be showing you all of today's drama and explain why it's still such a success. The biggest and most powerful space rocket ever launched has blown up on its maiden flight. SpaceX's Starship exploded just minutes after liftoff from Texas. There was no one on board. Despite the explosion, Elon Musk, the man behind the project, declared the test flight a success. He is trying to develop a reusable space vehicle that will eventually be able to carry up to 100 people on interplanetary flights as well as allowing travel to anywhere in the world in one hour or less. Our science editor Rebecca Morell reports on today's extraordinary test flight. A tense wait in the final seconds. Ignition. Two. One. As the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built gets ready to fly. We have liftoff. Starship slowly pushed up into the sky. So far, so good. A few minutes into the flight, it was time for the bottom part of the rocket to separate. But Starship started tumbling, and then this happened. Starship just experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly, or a rud, during an ascent. But now this was a development test. There's a first test flight of Starship, and the goal was to gather the data, and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. Despite the explosion, they were still celebrating at SpaceX HQ. Elon Musk, the company's CEO, set expectations low. Just getting the rocket off the ground was a major milestone. He tweeted, Congrats, SpaceX team, on an exciting test launch of Starship. Learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. Starship has been in development for years, and the plan is for it to take people to the moon and eventually Mars. It's radically different from other rockets. This is the Starship launch system. It stands 120 metres tall. That's nearly 400 feet. It has two main parts. At the bottom is the super heavy booster, which has a huge number of engines, 33 of them. Above this is a Starship spacecraft. This can carry cargo or crew. SpaceX says up to 100 people. What's unique is both components will be fully reusable. Explosions at SpaceX aren't unusual. They say it's all part of the learning process. There's been a lot of develop and fly, design and fly. That's been costly in terms of hardware failures. SpaceX has said that it's been extremely valuable in terms of what SpaceX has learned. There have been concerns about the environmental impacts of Starship launches and damage to the fragile local ecosystem. The US authorities, though, have said it passes all their checks. It's not yet clear exactly what went wrong, but what's certain is SpaceX will try again. They've got more rockets waiting that are ready to fly. Rebecca Morell, BBC News.